Hello, Dr. Ashley Secan here with Nevada Sinus Relief. Uh, today we're going to discuss a condition called nasal valve collapse. So the nasal valve is the area on the side of the nose where the uh, natural creases are. So on this diagram, it's sort of between these two cartilages. And when uh, we breathe, a column of air enters the, enters the uh, nasal airway through the nostril, and it uh, through an, a type of um, scientific phenomenon uh, called the Bernoulli effect, that rapid flow of air creates a little negative pressure. And that negative pressure acts like a s mild vacuum. And it tends to suck in uh, this uh, area here between these two cartilages. And as it does that, it can cause some level of nasal obstruction. Now, in uh, healthy people uh, whose nasal anatomy is normal, and the area between the cartilages is relatively stiff and resilient, so it doesn't get sucked in, it doesn't cause nasal obstruction. But sometimes, uh, due to uh, trauma, people getting older, or other causes, uh, unknown causes that can cause separation between the two cartilages, there can be a weakened uh, section of the uh, sidewall of the nose that tends to get sucked in and collapse when uh, nasal breathing occurs and that causes nasal obstruction or congestion. So that's called nasal valve collapse. In the past, uh, this was treated uh, by surgery uh, using cartilage uh, to interpose in that area uh, that is weak and uh, provide more resilience to that area so it doesn't get sucked in. But recently a novel device uh, called the Latera implant has been used to achieve the same purpose in a much less invasive uh, fashion. So the Latera implant is actually self-dissolving in about 18 months or so, and it is inserted through a very tiny opening uh, inside the nostril. And uh, part of it rests uh, in this area um, below the level of this weakened uh, area, uh, intercartilaginous area. And then the rest of it actually sits on top of the nasal bone. Now, the device itself is, is quite uh, small, about uh, 2.5 centimeters or so, and it's very thin, but it's uh, stiff enough that it cantilevers off of the bone and holds this weakened area slightly out or lateral, even when rapid breathing occurs through the nose. So it has been uh, proven to be an excellent treatment for nasal valve collapse. And um, this procedure can be performed in the office. I've performed it many times myself in the office, just under local anesthesia, deploying some anesthetic gel and some uh, uh, local anesthesia uh, called lidocaine. And patients are comfortable. Um, usually there's not much aftercare involved and most individuals notice an improvement in their nasal breathing virtually right away. Uh, so it may be that uh, if you're experiencing nasal congestion or obstruction, part of the reason, or sometimes all of the reason, may be nasal valve collapse. And if that's the case, Latera may be the device for you. Thank you.